Although LEGO launched their legendary plastic bricks back in 1949, it would still be a few decades until LEGO released minifigures, and even longer until LEGO introduced some four-legged friends. Since then, the variety of animals released by LEGO has grown into hundreds of unique creatures. Today, we'll explore how LEGO's animal figures have evolved from their humble beginnings to the incredible range that we have today. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy this video, and let's get into it. The very first LEGO animal figurine came in the long-retired Fabuland theme. Fabuland was a theme that ran for 10 years all through the 80s. It was meant to be the step between Duplo and standard LEGO, and featured a line of animal-based characters. A few years into the run, LEGO released set 3788, Paulette's Poodle's Living Room. This set looks like nothing special at first, until you realize what's sitting on the table. That's right, there's a little yellow bird. This was actually a single piece, and it appeared in three more sets over the next couple years before never being seen again. Today, a new inbox version of this set can go for as much as $125, which is pretty crazy for a set with just 12 pieces. Early the following year in 1984, LEGO released what would become one of the most iconic toys in history, the LEGO Horse. First appearing in the castle and western themes, these stable companions came in both black and white, with a brown version being launched soon after. It wasn't long until horses made their way to LEGO City, and since then they have appeared in countless different LEGO themes. In fact, the standard horse now comes in 85 different versions based on color and print pattern. The overall design of this piece was completely unchanged until 2012 when LEGO released an updated version. This new mold featured additional articulation, meaning that horses could now rear up on their hind legs. That same year, LEGO also introduced the LEGO Friends line, featuring a brand new and unique horse mold. This one was designed to better accommodate the LEGO Friends mini dolls. Now, like all LEGO Friends pieces, these horses are still totally compatible with any other LEGO set. Now, the first wild animals appeared a few years later after the horse in 1989 with the LEGO Pirates line. This series introduced a handful of new creatures, including the monkey, parrot, and shark. The absolutely iconic LEGO Monkey accompanied the pirates on most of their excursions, but also made its way into several other themes over the next few years. This little guy featured a single molded piece for the, both the head, body, and tail, and used four minifigure arms to ensure that it had all the grip it needed. While these didn't have any printing, the head did feature quite a lot of detail, with the ears, nose, and mouth all clearly defined. That same year, also with the Pirates theme, LEGO released two different parrots, one printed and one unprinted. The printed version continued to appear in sets until 2002, while the unprinted one can be found in more recent sets up to 2016, when the mold was changed to make its beak slightly larger. 1989 also saw the release of the first LEGO sea creature with the shark. The original sharks came in three colors, white, dark gray, and dark bluish gray. These molds would go largely unchanged until 2008, when the sharks got gills and were, for some reason, seemingly made evil. Seriously, just look at this guy and tell me he's not up to something. The 1990s would see an explosion of undersea animals, with LEGO releasing the alligator, octopus, crab, clam, starfish, and sawfish. Since then, these have all been released in a variety of colors across a wide range of sets. However, since 2008, LEGO has only released two new underwater additions to its animal roster, a fish and a lobster. But interestingly enough, similar to the shark redesign in 2008, the sawfish and alligator also got the same treatment and were given a more menacing appearance. Honestly, this never really sat right with me. Like, I get that these are meant to be predators, but it doesn't always make them need to be bad guys, especially in LEGO sets. Anyways, on to the next animal. Now, up until this point, all the animals released had basically either been wild animals or horses, but that all changed in 1994 when LEGO released the now-defunct Belleville line. Running until about 2009, this theme was the forerunner to later successes like LEGO Friends, and introduced the first truly domestic animals like rabbits, cats, and dogs. Although these figures were definitely focused more on realism, the scale of these animals was way off, with dogs towering over minifigures and horses standing over eight bricks tall. While most of these designs were discontinued with the Belleville line, some of the designs managed to hang on and continue to appear in system sets. The Crouching Kitten, for example, managed to get printed eyes, and it's also worth pointing out that even the adult cats eventually turned into the more minifigure scaled cats that we have today. In 2013, LEGO released these smaller cats and since then has put out several versions including the punky one from the LEGO Movie 2. Other than the original horse, LEGO didn't release any farm animals until the very limited foal in 1996. 
appearing in only two sets, this was the only foal ever designed for LEGO system. This model does appear today in the LEGO Friends line, though. In 2008, LEGO finally released a new farm animal, the cow. Released in both a black and white as well as brown version, these only made their way into two sets at first. The following year, the pig was released, and the same mold has been used ever since, through with different colors and prints. In 2011, LEGO released two more animals, a chicken and a goat. Also that same year, the dog from the LEGO Harry Potter series got a huge makeover, replacing the previously engraved eyes with printed ones. Additionally, the specific color and printing told us that this was a German Shepherd. Like the rest of the redesigned animals, it looked more refined and realistic. And since then, LEGO has released more unique dog breed molds, including a Husky, Chihuahua, and Terrier. Now, while LEGO had been putting out sea creatures all throughout the 90s, it had kind of left the land conspicuously barren. In 2000, LEGO finally released the first large wild land predator, the polar bear. Much like the original horse, the polar bear was made up of a single mold for the body and a separate one for the head, allowing the head to move up and down. Unlike the horse and monkey though, this piece could hold a Lego bar in its mouth, allowing for lots of design and play options. In 2012, the bear got a redesign, allowing it to stand on its hind legs and changing the shape of its head slightly. The next walking beast that Lego would put out is the 2003 elephant. To be honest, I nearly skipped this one since, unlike the other animals in this video, this one needed to be assembled out of the box. Consisting of 17 pieces, the Lego Elephant was the largest animal figure released at the time. A few of these pieces actually found their way into other sets like the Dewback and Veractyl. In 2010, Lego released the Ostrich and Camel, which came in both tan and dark tan. These were each only released in just one set tied to the Prince of Persia theme at the time. In 2017, Lego released its first big cats, putting out a panther, leopard, and tiger. Like the newer horses and bears, these could stand on their hind legs and the head could be moved up and down. And in 2018, the same mold was used to create a mountain lion and a saber-toothed tiger. 2018 was also the same year in which we got an updated elephant. Well, a woolly mammoth to be more precise. Unlike the previous elephant, this one's body was made from just a single mold with the head, trunk, and tusks added separately. It's also worth mentioning here the motley of animals that have come out from the collectible minifigures line, which include chimpanzees, skunks, rabbits, penguins, and much, much more. While today LEGO is full of fantastic beasts, these are actually fairly new additions. The first mythical beast released by LEGO was back in 1993, which is now the absolutely legendary Green Dragon. This flying menace had moving wings, arms, head, and even tail. And it even had a small hole in the mouth to place a fire piece. This exact same mold was released in a black version in 1997, and for a few years these were the only mythical creatures that LEGO produced. But all of that changed in 1999 when LEGO acquired the license to Star Wars. Suddenly, store shelves were flooded with extremely unique characters from the Star Wars universe. But the very first LEGO Star Wars animal figure was released in this set, from January 2000. It's an orange Kadu. Just a few years later, LEGO would also get the rights to start making Harry Potter sets, and with these we got another wave of regular and modified animals like a dog, rat, and owl. With these sets, we also got a whole range of new Fantastic Beasts to play with. If you've read the books or watched any of the movies, you'll know that there are a lot of fantasy characters in the Harry Potter franchise, and even Fluffy got his own unique molded figure. But even in 2022, LEGO still isn't done reinventing the classics. This year, they began releasing sets based on the new Avatar movie coming out, and these include six-legged horse figures. These models feature completely unique heads and have a hole on either side to allow a wide range of customization. Sadly, the heads don't move and the horses can't stand on their hind legs, though. Ironically, one of the newest additions to LEGO's animal lineup are also the oldest animals from any set. LEGO first started releasing dinosaur figures in year 2000 with the Adventures Dino Island theme. This series contained a total of seven different dinosaur molds, including both an adult and baby T-Rex. Over the next decade, LEGO released four more dinosaur themes. Dinosaurs brought a few new species to the mix, like a Brachiosaurus, as well as baby versions of some of them. Dino Attack and Dino 2010 introduced several brand new molds for dinosaurs, making them appear as if they'd been exposed to radiation or mutated. But of course, in 2015, LEGO stopped producing any of its own dino lines to focus on the new Jurassic Park sets. These featured new and improved models of nearly every single dinosaur ever released up until this point. The new figures were larger, more poseable, and overall just much higher quality than the originals, and were definitely more accurate to something you'd see on the big screen. I've also linked a couple of my favorite animal sets in the description using YouTube's new shopping feature. 
check it out. Comment your favorite LEGO animal below and subscribe for more LEGO videos.